never imagined using a time machine. With the latest discovery of wormhole simulation, we might be able to do things we have only seen in science fiction movies. Fascinating, right? In this video, we will dive into the wild world of quantum entanglement and wormholes. We will also talk about how these phenomena have the potential to revolutionize our future. So stick around and enjoy the whole video for some mind-blowing stuff. As some of us know, scientists have come up with a pretty cool quantum experiment. It's all about studying wormholes, you know, those crazy space-to-time things that Einstein's theory of general relativity brought into the spotlight back in 1915. Now hold on a second, because they didn't create an actual wormhole. I mean, it's the kind that could potentially transport you to another part of the universe in the blink of an eye. Instead, they did something equally mind-blowing. They built a model of a wormhole and ran it on a quantum processor. Yeah, you heard that right. By doing this, they got a glimpse into the strange and fascinating world of wormholes and how they might be related to something called quantum gravity. It sounds like science fiction, but it is true. Maria Spiropoulou, who's in charge of the U.S. Department of Energy Office of Science Research Program, summed it up nicely. She said, We found a quantum system that behaves kinda like a gravitational wormhole, but it's small enough that we can play around with it using today's quantum computers. Samantha Davis, one of the co-authors of this study and a grad student at Caltech, shared a rather interesting tidbit. She mentioned that this whole experiment took an awfully long time to reach its results. Can you imagine the patience these scientists must have had? But guess what? They got some results that left them pretty surprised. It seems that the behavior resembling wormholes can be explained from the perspectives of both quantum physics and good old general relativity. Now, Maria Skiropoulou made it clear that their newfangled wormhole model doesn't replace the need for direct investigations into quantum gravity. However, it does give them a nifty tool to explore some ideas related to quantum gravity right here in the lab. Imagine having a mini-universe inside a quantum computer. Now let us get to the reasons why this is such a big deal. Einstein's general theory of relativity is the big deal when it comes to describing the world on those huge cosmic scales, like galaxies, black holes, and the rest. On the other hand, quantum physics is the king of the subatomic world, where particles do their strange dance. The problem is that these two champions do not like each other. Yes, they do not agree, because there is no good way to explain gravity at the quantum level, and general relativity is all about gravity. So, what is all the fuss about? Well, it is because scientists are looking for something called a quantum theory of gravity. This is important because it is the last piece of the puzzle, or if you will, the holy grail of physics. It is the key that could open the door to a physics theory of everything. Who knows? This quantum-made wormhole that these smart people came up with might be a step in the right direction on this great quest. It is like they have found a secret doorway in the universe's maze, and they cannot wait to find out where it goes. Now let's take a little trip down the science history lane. So back in 1935, the big brain himself, Albert Einstein, teamed up with the American-Israeli physicist Nathan Rosen. What did they do? Well, they took Einstein's famous equations of general relativity from 1915 and used them to conjure up something pretty wild. They called it tunnels through space-time. Imagine that. These cosmic shortcuts got a fancy name, Einstein Rosen Bridges. That's a pretty cool name, right? Fast forward to the 1950s, and we got John Wheeler, who's the go-to guy on black holes, stepping in. He thought, hey, these space-to-time tunnels need a snazzier name, so he dubbed them wormholes. Yup, that's how those mysterious passages got their cool moniker. Wormholes, they're like the secret passages of the universe. Let's time travel to 2013 for a sec. In the world of science, something pretty cool happened back then. In quantum physics, there is something called entanglement which is when two particles are linked in such a weird way that changing one changes the other right away, no matter how far apart they are. We are on opposite sides of the world, which is pretty far. I mean, quantum entanglement is like when you and your best friend are so close that you can finish each other's sentences, except that you're actually separated by billions of light years, and you're both cats, and one of you is a really bad speller. Now here's where it gets really cool. Two physics whizzes, Juan Maldacena and Leonard Susskind, decided to connect the dots between this quantum entanglement and wormholes. They had this daring and poetic idea that wormholes and entanglement were like long-lost twins. That's interesting. Fast forward to 2017. Daniel Jaffers from Harvard University and his gang are taking this idea even further. They came up with this wild concept involving something called negative repulsive energy. 
This energy stuff could keep a wormhole open long enough for something to actually travel from one end to the other. In plain English, they were talking about creating a wormhole that you could potentially go through. Picture this, you have this crazy idea of a tunnel that can be passed through, right? Well, it is kind of like a cousin to quantum teleportation, which is another cool thing in quantum physics. You know, that cool trick where you can send information over long distances using the magic of entanglement, whether it is through fiber optics or just through thin air. Now, our Caltech heroes, leading the charge on this research, are taking this whole connection between wormholes and quantum teleportation to a whole new level. They're running experiments to see if you can describe the way information travels from one spot in space to another using either the language of gravity or the language of quantum entanglement. It's like they're trying to crack the code on how the universe talks to itself. They kick things off by creating what they call a baby sacked of Yikitave quantum system. Sounds fancy, right? Well, they basically made this mini quantum world and got it all tangled up with another FIK system. The result? A model that's designed to mimic gravitational properties. Think of it as a playground for wormholes. But they didn't stop there. Using some serious machine learning mojo on regular old computers, they simplified this model. Why? So it could be run on Google's Sycamore quantum processor. Now here's where the magic happened. They brought in a qubit, which is the basic unit of quantum computing and is similar to the bits in a normal computer. They put this qubit into one of these IK systems and then watched what happened. Interestingly, they saw information pop up in the other FIK system. But here's the twist. In the language of quantum physics, this was quantum teleportation. Information zipping from one quantum system to another. But when you looked at it through the lens of gravity, it was like a journey through a traversable wormhole. It's like they found a way to speak two different languages at the same time. Although a traversable wormhole only showed up when the team used bursts of repulsive negative energy to keep their space-time bridge open. It's like they're playing with cosmic Legos and discovering new shapes in the universe's building blocks. It was the first time something like this had ever been done in science. Google's super-duper high-fidelity quantum engine was the secret ingredient that made it possible. Here's the kicker. If the error rates had been even 50% higher, the whole project would have been a waste of time. The amount of obscurity we are talking about is like trying to see a dim star in the night sky through cloudy binoculars. On the other hand, if these mistake rates had been cut in half, we would have had 10 times as much information to work with. They were walking a very thin line. Coolest of all is that when they improved one part of their plan, it did not change the other important parts. Now looking ahead, these future experiments will take things up a notch. They're planning to move to even more complex quantum circuits, although we might have to wait a bit for full-fledged quantum computers to become a reality. Maria Spiropulu also said, the relationship between quantum entanglement, space-time, and quantum gravity is one of the most important questions in fundamental physics, and it's a hot topic in theoretical research. She's pumped to keep exploring these mind-boggling ideas with quantum hardware, and you know what? We're along for the ride, eagerly waiting to see where this cosmic journey takes us. Do you believe quantum entanglement might be the secret sauce for quantum teleportation? Or perhaps you've got your own theory about the cosmos? Share your ideas in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by these cosmic conundrums as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more mind-expanding journeys through the universe.